The Judicial Panel of Inquiry to investigate complaints relating to act of police brutality, extrajudicial killings and other human rights violations in Kaduna State has presented its white paper report to the state government. The panel was inaugurated by the Deputy Governor, Dr. Hadiza Balarabi, on 19th of October 2020 and given a period of six months to submit its report from date of first sitting. A correspondent, Habila Dorofai, filed in this report as presented from our Lagos studio. One thing has brought them all here at the state government house in Kaduna. It is the presentation of the report of the panel of inquiry into cases of police brutality and other human rights violation. Chairman of the panel, Justice David Shane Young, discloses that after inaugural sitting, the panel received 64 petitions, but six were struck out for inaccuracies. In the end, 43 petitions received approval after evaluation. The panel recommends the payment of 271,500 naira to 23 petitioners as compensation for debts, injuries, and permanent incapacitation. The total of 64 petitions were filed. Out of this, six were struck out on the application of either the petitioners or councils representing them, and 13 were struck out by the panel due to lack of diligent prosecution. By the above, a total of 19 petitions were terminated before taking of evidence. At the end, the panel had a total of 43 petitions, wherein seven were dismissed for lacking in merit. The Deputy Governor, Hadiza Balarabe, seems satisfied with the panel's reports and recommendations. He, however, warns against further misconduct by some police officers. Pleasure to receive the report of the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into acts of brutality by police personnel in Kaduna State. The inauguration of this Commission of Inquiry on the 19th of October was in response to serious concerns raised about police accountability across the country. Apart from the work of the Commission of Inquiry, the country needs to resolve the constitutional arrangement for policing, especially its funding, its governance, its training and professionalism, and the welfare of the personnel. Better we await the outcome of uh, the government's white paper. We received 63 and I finally sat on 43. We submitted our report in respect of 43 petitions. My address, I, we hope government will uh, look into our recommendation and implement them. The panel concluded its public sitting on the 22nd of June, 2021. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.